usually is a good indicator, but sometimes, of course, there are uh, false alarms. It's not always the case that when it's inverted, you're going to get a recession. But I think that the most important thing is that in the last 60 years, there's never been a case in U.S. history that you have inflation above 5 percent, right now 7.7, unemployment below 5 percent, now 3.7, that when the Fed starts to raise interest rates, you get a soft landing. You get, in every case, a hard landing. Even when you have cases of overheating from aggregate demand, let alone when you have like the 70s situation with negative supply shocks that reduce growth, increasing inflation, and when you raise interest rates, then you end up into a hard landing. Well, we're already seeing a significant rise in long bond yields. Uh, credit spreads, high yield and grade are much higher. In the leveraged loan market and CLO markets, things are almost shutting down, not yet, but the spread have widened so much that the issuance has become much lower. So all the kind of uh, excesses that occurred, not in the banking system, but in the shadow banking system, that was private debt, CLOs, leveraged loans, fallen angels, high yield, those things are market that slowly, slowly are becoming more distressed over time. And as we enter in a recession, the spread widening is going to be much more significant. Uh, I think that the stresses are going to come in the credit markets. If we're going to enter a recession, lots of institutions like corporates, households, uh, businesses that are highly leveraged, I call them zombies, that are effectively insolvent, they were bailed out during the EFC, during the COVID crisis with zero rates, negative rates, CE. Yeah and quantitative easing, they will have significant increases in debt servicing ratio. So you're going to see distress in credit markets. But no, they were not. I mean, before the COVID crisis, the Fed was writing financial stability reports saying that their worry was about the corporate sector, high debt, trillions of dollars, leverage loans, CLOs, high yield, uh, fallen angels. And what happened during the COVID crisis that those institutions, those corporations, not only didn't go bust, but they were bailed out. Went to, uh, to zero rate, we even bought high yield bonds, and therefore everything was bailed out and they borrowed even more. Today, unfortunately, with the rise in inflation, the Fed is rising rates from zero to four, they're gonna go at least until five, 525, possibly, in my view, closer to 6%, then the institutions that are insolvent are gonna have to go into distress. Uh, no. And that's the credit th stress. Well, you know, even if you had a short and shallow recession, typically from peak to throw, the S&P 500 falls by 30%. During the GFC, it fell by 50%. So even if we had a mild recession, right now the market is down, depending on the day, 15% from the peak, you'll have another 15% leg down. If we have something more severe than a short and shallow recession, but not as severe as GFC, yeah. you have to do minus 40 from minus 15. So you have another 25% downside potentially in the markets.